we've just finished up at ballet for the last uh, last lesson of term and now we're off to go get our christmas tree the christmas tree decorations are you excited about getting our christmas tree bub yeah we're gonna meet up with melissa and ben and dog's parents because we will we're all getting our tree from the same place and then we're going to find a pub and then we'll head home get the christmas decorations out of the attic decorate the house Put the tree out. It's gonna be a very nice Saturday afternoon. Should we go meet Auntie Melissa, Uncle yeah. Ben, Nana, Pops? Yeah. 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 Ready? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm bit sunny down in. Oh. Sunny. Oh. Do sunny. <laughs> Might have some other sunglasses in the glove box. Some nice pink ones. <laughs> nice pink ones. Um. Uh, to wear these ones down in. Yes. She said the sun was in her eyes, so she. <laughs> Wearing these sunglasses, which have been in Doug's car for years. Looking cool! <laughs> they suit you, bub. They suit you. I like them. Yeah. Too big for my nose. They are a bit big for your little nose, aren't they? But they work. Keep the sun out of your eyes. <laughs> oh, oh. We've arrived at the tree farm. I'm just waiting for everyone else to arrive. I think I, I've caught whatever Delilah had at the start of the week. I probably look quite poorly in the eye. I was up half the night last night with sweats and chills and I'm feeling a little bit rough and achy today, but I'm, I'm feeling in good spirits, just not feeling the best. What's that Delilah look? <gasps> Who's that? Ben and Melissa. Teddy! I got Teddy! She fell over in ballet got, and hit Teddy. her cheek, which is why it's red. I hurt myself in ballet! Oh. The weary world rejoices for your... Yucky weather. Yeah. Weather's taken a turn for the worst. Got soaked just going from the tree place to the car. Doug's out there braving the elements, trying to put the tree on top of the car. <laughs> There's Daddy. Lila's got dippy egg and I've got sourdough, avocado, bloomy and tomatoes. Finished up brunch, we're now going to head home. It's a really sweet village. <laughs> Showing everyone her sunglasses. Oh. <laughs> Are yours? Yeah. We're about to bring the tree in. I just need to move this plant and probably move this chair over a little bit. This year we're trying a stand rather than a pot and soil which is uh, what we've done for quite a few years. They're meant to last a bit longer in pots but every year we have the same argument about the tree not quite being straight and then it constantly moves when it's in the soil and 
I feel like a stand will save the faff of the tree constantly being wonky. One of you guys recommended this black metal star-shaped one. It came up on my Google search as well and it was actually one of the cheapest ones I found. It had great reviews and one of you who recommended this said it was really good. So I thought you can't really go wrong. It's one of the cheapest stands out there and it has great reviews. So hopefully this will um, keep our tree up. Oh, hi. <laughs> the only thing we have to make sure we do, we can twist it around quite easily, but there's a logo on the back. So there's a logo there. Yeah. So we just want to make sure that that's not at the front. Now, how how's best to do this? You can hold it on tight. Okay. Because we usually get a six foot, isn't it? Don't we? But obviously we'll lose. Sure. Yeah. Need to find the decorations in the attic now. <laughs> Can you see Daddy's feet? Yeah. Do it. He's coming down. <laughs> we really need to get some stairs. These can go in the kitchen. Delilah, this is your first ever Christmas decoration. Yeah. Is your name on it? Yeah. We've done plenty of um. Christmas tree decorating over the years. So most of you don't need to hear the backstory of all our Christmas decorations, but I will show you some new ones that I've got in this year in a bit. Just need to find the lights for the tree. And that's the outside ones. I'm outside. I'm waiting for the tree to go. That was close. <laughs> You're right. That's a nice tree. Let's make him sick of a day. I'm snowman. You're a snowman. Nice to meet you. What have you got in your hat? Addy. Oh, may I have a look? Oh, ouch. Too spicy. From the tree. Uh, I'm an angel. Even finished doing the lights yet. Yeah? Good job. Let's show you some new decorations that I have this year. I had quite a few new followers this month. So if this was your first Vlogmas with us, hello, welcome. We never have a theme when it comes to our Christmas tree. We're just gonna do a bit of everything. And over the years, I've collected more and more um, ornaments. We have a lot of felty ones that once Delilah's just popped up. And we have some nice glass baubles. A month or so ago, picked up some ones from the White Company. I will try and link whatever I can, if they're still available. We've got these ones from the White Company, didn't we? Do you want to show them? Yeah. We've got little doggy. And doggy with a party hat. <laughs> also picked up these pears from the White Company. I have one of these on her advent calendar. Got these from Anthropology. This one from one of my favourite artists. I have a couple of plant pots from her. And she did a collaboration with Anthropology. And I also think she did a, a, a similar collaboration with v &A as well. I think this might be too heavy for the tree, so I may hang it somewhere else. And then I have a felt star garland coming in the post from Truva, which will come at some point next week, and I will probably use that to hang on photo frames. And then the other two items that came this week are these gorgeous beaded moths. How gorgeous are those? 
So as you can tell, our decorations are all very different, but it's all stuff I like, and I think that's the nice thing about Christmas trees, just collecting stuff over the years and just having a big old mix of everything. I also picked up these paper ones from our kit. We had a few of these last year. I think we've got them, they'll be somewhere. I think, I think they're in white and red. Oh, does that fit? Oh, cool. Before we decorate the tree, Doug's just run out to put the lights on the bush outside before it gets dark. So whilst he does that, I'm gonna pop the wreath on the door. So I've got the one that I made a couple of days ago to put on the front door, and then the one that I bought the day before. I made the one for the front door, for the back door. I'm glad I was organized last year when we took them down and I labeled the, uh, the ribbons. So this one's for the uh, front door. And then this one says kitchen. How I attach ours to our front door is I use these command strips. One wreath down, one more to go. Delilah's gone for a scoot round the block. She suddenly had an impulse that she needed to go for a scoot. She was going, please, please, can I go? Can I get my scooter out and, and go? So, um, Doug's taken her around the block whilst I finish off doing this wreath. Making a coffee. I'm dosed up on paracetamol and ibuprofen. I need a little bit of caffeine to get me through. I'd love to know how many times I've filmed a coffee segment in this corner of the house since we've lived here. I need to find a strip of sticky stuff to stick the command hook on. So that's basically what I've done and I do it upside down so that the ribbon has something to hold on to because if I did it the right way around it just wouldn't work. I'm hoping I have another sticky strip. So obviously you can reuse the hooks year to year but the sticky bits once you've pulled them off they just need to go in the bin. And I'm not sure if I've got another one. If I do it will be in the box of party things. Oh here we go. Oh no. <laughs> They're the small ones. Command, I think they're command strips, they're called. And they're brilliant for sticking stuff on walls, doors, wreaths. I use these little ones for putting garlands on windows and um, Delilah's birthday banner on the wall on her birthday. I thought I had another big one. No luck. I'm going to have to see if I can use one of the smaller ones. I have this medium sized one which might just hold this one up. Got the Christmas mitts out, I love these. This will be their third year of use. You just pop it on and press down. Peel it off and then stick on the hook. Hello. No, I can't you. You're gonna show me some moves? Yeah. Ooh. I have these feathers left over from my wreath last year. I remember keeping them thinking it would be such a shame to throw them away. So I'm gonna try and attach them to this wreath because I think they would go quite well. These two are still outside playing. <laughs> I don't think she wants to come down because of the wet grass. Come in now. I'm hungry, but I want a biscuit. <laughs> okay. I just heard a crash. Turns out you can't use the medium stickers with the large hooks. <laughs> what a mess. Have I got my little helper back now? Oh, there's a battery on the floor. I <laughs> wondered where that one went. I get it. Oh, thank you, Bob. Just pop it on the side for me. Oh, good job. Thank you. I'm suddenly starting to feel very Christmassy. The tree smells amazing. Can you smell the tree? It smells like Christmas. It's so strange how I just wasn't feeling festive at all. And then as soon as you have something like the Christmas tree up, I think it's more the smell has just triggered this festive feeling in me. Oh, it smells so good. When we were doing the wood floor, I said to Doug, how good I think the Christmas tree will look with the uh, with the wood floor. And it does look, I think it looks so nice. Doug said it earlier how he's excited to hoover up all of these because it will be so easy compared to last year when 
all of these pine needles got stuck in our carpet to the point where when we pulled up the carpet there were still pine needles in it this one's eagerly getting on with more decorating how are you getting on bud i think i want to buy some more of these not these snowmen as such but just some more bigger felt ones like this because this year's tree is so bushy i don't think we're gonna have enough baubles to um really fill it out bub 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 Should we put some Christmas music on? Yes. Yeah? Do you want your favourite Christmas song? Yes. Holly Jolly. Google? Listen to Holly Jolly Christmas. Holly Jolly Christmas by Burlice Shaw. Playing on Spotify. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I gave up trying to help decorate the tree, so I let this one finish it. I will be having a little bit of a rejig later. <laughs> For now, we're gonna snuggle up and watch Elf. <laughs> This one's just having TV dinner this evening. <laughs> We've just been hoovering lots of little flies that we keep finding on the ceiling, which have obviously come from the tree. I can't work out whether they're aphids or not, but um, yeah, we're probably gonna have to do that for the next day or so until they're all gone. I've read horror stories about there being spider nests and things like that in Christmas trees and, and then people bring them indoors and then they hatch um, but we've checked our tree I think it's fine that's never happened to us in the past oh I didn't realize that my tin's all over the place once Delilah goes to bed and Doug's nipping oh, oh I've lost my blanket Doug's gonna be going out this evening and I was meant to be going but I'm just not feeling well enough to go out and after the week that I've had I think it's probably best that I just Stay in a forest of Christmas trees stretching over the hills where there's a ghost. Uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> I didn't do it. I know it fell. There was a boy in the shop drawn in from the rain outside by the warmth and the light. Did you have fun getting the tree today? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like it? It's very big and bushy, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting this one into bed. Night night. Love you. Yeah. By the way, this is not a god. Lots of people keep thinking we've put her cot back together. It's not. This is just to stop her falling out of bed. <laughs> Living it up on a Saturday night with my lem sip and my hot water bottle. <laughs> Once I put Delilah to bed, I started making my dinner, carried on editing. I thought I wouldn't bore you with that stuff. So I had my dinner, finished, finished the vlog. I will pop that up in a bit. And I've just come in the living room to soak up the Christmas tree and pop some teddy on whilst I drink my lemsip. I feel like today's vlog's a bit of a disappointment. I've not even finished the tree, let alone shown you any other decorations. It feels ever so cosy. It suits that corner so well. I love it there. I never, I want to have a Christmas tree there all year round. And I'll show you it properly in the next vlog um, to make up for this one a little bit. Um, so I will see you then. Bye. Bye.